Okay guys, Central Florida Prepper here. Uh, today we've got some topics on the Ridge Crest Super Volcano. Yes, you heard me correct. They are now saying that there is a super volcano forming under China Lake in California. Now, that's right there where all these earthquakes have been hitting started on the 4th of July and they're just constantly being pounded with aftershocks and uh, of course the bigger earthquake that happened now before we get into that I want to congratulate D Carney for winning our subscriber giveaway um, she has contacted uh, we have uh, got everything ordered pop up here showing that it was ordered and it is being delivered now they have multiple dates there it's just the way Amazon operates I'm afraid I do apologize if there is any background noise I got the door open on the shed it's just um, it's just too hot out here okay getting to it now this is not something to scare anybody this is just information that was sent to me and I was able to research into now this is USGS data analysis reveals a new super volcano is forming under the Naval Air Weapons Station at China Lake in California now it goes to say about a whistleblower saying that they've known about this uh, talking about the magma chamber moving um, it has not risen to the surface yet, but it is forming. Now, am I saying that there is going to be a super volcano eruption? It's not what I'm saying. I mean, there are super volcanoes in the area. I think one is in Long Valley, California. It's like 200 miles away from Ridgecrest so there's volcano systems all over the place but this one here is moving um, it's it's creating something here um, so in my thought process and my research that is what's causing all these earthquakes and tremors and things like that right there in that one spot all right now yeah, there's other spots now receiving tremors and earthquake um, you got fault lines and everything things can get transferred I am not a seismologist I'm just a redneck with the internet there we go but it's information I think everyone should know about this was actually plain this was actually reported on on the 9th of July For some reason I completely missed this report didn't hear anything about it at all I mean I don't know I am busy but I don't know why I didn't get it till just recently now there is other reports the USGS I'll pop it up here talking about this volcanic field it's saying that it's not growing and there's no immediate danger of you know super volcano eruption so I am not going to get on the fear porn wagon and tell everybody it's a conspiracy they're all lies they can't tell us this everybody will panic I'm not going to do that I do know that if I was living around the vicinity of this newly developing super volcano with all these earthquakes I would be trying my best to find means to move away from that area. I do understand it is very difficult to pick up your family and leave. I get that. I've done it many times. It's, it's a lot. All right. So I'm not sitting there telling y'all to run out and just leave everything behind. All right. That's not what I'm doing. I would make plans on figuring out how to move away from the area. That's my thoughts on it. 
I mean, hey, things are happening there. Alright guys, so we also have some channel shout out here. Um, for those who have been here for a while, y'all know that I have a really good friend up in North Dakota. He also has a YouTube channel, goes by Magic Prepper. Uh, I'm going to put his uh, link up there. He just came out with a new video, and you know we just did a video collaboration video not too long ago, and we're actually going to be working on something else here in the immediate future. But he just did a video on five SHTF scenarios. Um, really amazing. I highly recommend you guys to go out there and check it out. He has been making videos about the same same time I have. I believe we both started our channel about the same time. Um, now these are my thoughts on his channel. I think that YouTube is shadow banning him. He has been stuck with a subscriber list that's just not growing. His videos are very, very good. Even his, his new video he just came out with blew me away. It's freaking amazing. The editing, the filming, everything was great on it. But his channel would not get out there. And I'm thinking there is a shadow ban on him. Why? Here we go into that conspiracy. Well, I guess kind of it is. He shows a lot of firearm related material on his channel. And I believe YouTube is sticking it to him. Alright. So if you guys wouldn't mind going over there and help him out. Show him that love that y'all have shown me here with the subscriber count that's constantly growing here. Alright, we've got a great community. And Magic Prepper is part of our community. For some reason, something's going on behind the scenes with YouTube. And guys, that's just, that's not right. Alright. So, go on over there, check out his channel, subscribe to him. Please, help this guy out. He's got a lot of great information. A lot of great prepper information. But I believe it's because of the firearm related stuff on his videos is what's, what's hurting his channel. By YouTube. Not by us, because we all love that stuff. And there is another uh, channel. He's also a subscriber here, Prescott Caliber Club. His channel, Struggling Too, comes out with very good videos. Also, it's fire related, firearm related videos. Are y'all seeing the connection of the dots here? Yeah. So I uh, will definitely put up his uh, YouTube account there. Please go over there and check him out. All right. I believe that if we can actually break the way the YouTube censoring, all right, getting out there and actually clicking on and say, "Yeah, we're subscribing," commenting in this box helps promote these channels and gets it back into that algorithm. Um, also, since we're doing the full channel shout out, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, Central Banker WW3. A lot of y'all have actually came from his channel and subscribed here and I do thank y'all um, not many people actually know of Central Banker he is always uploading videos throughout the day of as soon as news reports come through he puts it up alright so there's not you're able, you're able to get hold of information before the circulation of the you know five o'clock news ever shows around if they even have it in the five o'clock news so yeah, definitely go over there and subscribe to him. A lot of great information. Uh, yes, he is a prepper too. Okay. Um, so yeah, guys, go on over there. Help these channels out. They're not begging me for shoutouts or anything like that. These are actually good friends. I've developed relationships with these people. I love their content. And I really think y'all will too. All right. Just the fact that YouTube's hurting these channels. And, and the signs are there. You can see it. All right, things are going on. Shady stuff's going on with YouTube on these guys. Now, my channel, yeah, I don't show any firearms, and I've explained why. Legal reasons, I can't own a firearm, okay? That was my mistake and the consequences I'm dealing with today in my life. Am I upset about it? Oh, yeah, I guess I could be. But I guess I should have thought about that before breaking the law years ago. Alright, so I'm not going to sit there and get on the wine train about, oh, I can't have this. Well, I should have thought about that before I ever broke the law. 
plain out and simple. Now, as you see, we do have the gas and snake here. All right, this may cause problems later on, and I'll tell you why. Sorry, I do have a dip in. There have been some new things floating around the internet saying this flag is racist. Let me tell you what. This was formed. The slogan, don't tread on me, was formed during the Revolutionary War. All right. Every constitutionalist nowadays uses this as their slogan. All right. We do not want to be tread on. We hold dear to the Constitution. You are not going to we're not going to allow you to infringe on that. That is our right as Americans. So, with that in the background, hey, it could cause some problems. Will I take it down? No. Now, we do have one a bumper sticker on the vehicle. And like I said, we live here in Apopka, Florida. We're right outside of Orlando. Now, when the crazed, supposedly bomber, I'll throw that up there, was mailing the fake explosives to all the Democrats not too long ago, right before the, the midterm elections. As soon as I saw the equipment that was being mailed, me and my wife was watching the news, I said, nope, that's fake. There's, there's, that's not real. And it turns out, yeah, none of these things would have ever exploded. I had on my car, on the bumper, one of these on the bumper sticker. Now, I was injured during this time. Did I go out and take my flag off? My gas and flag off? No. I did cover it up with some uh, black gorilla tape only because I was homebound. I couldn't walk. I couldn't barely use my arm. I was in a wheelchair during this time. So I could not be there for protection of my wife and the reason why I say protection of my wife is because during this time in Orlando in South Florida they were being vandalizing crimes and hate crimes against people showing promotion of the president the constitutional way of life by straight libtards so did I cover it up to protect my family Yes, I did. Now, as soon as I got where I could walk, and, yeah, my shoulder's not correct. I still got a good right, all right? It's back on. I took the tape off. It's sitting there. So, anyway, you guys all take care. This information was not intended for any fear porn things. I think I presented it very well to you as far as just informing you. Hey, there's a super volcano being developed. And that's all what this information was used for, just to get that out there to y'all. Alright guys, you take care. Make sure you click that like button, subscribe. If you want to share, please do. I know some of you guys do not like Facebook, Twitter, things like that. I don't blame you. Alright, but if you do have an account and want to send it out, please do. Alright guys, y'all take care and I'll talk to y'all later.